else more interesting to do? Eat the oh, lawn. I don't like lawn. Listen to the next breakdown. I am Tung Tian. What you doing here, my guy? Hello, all. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing yeah, Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Chucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Uh, oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design and that line work. It's so cool. <laughs> it's epic. It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat. Of Dude, it's... wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Not with dude. <laughs> uh, maybe Esquire? <laughs> Please don't. Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire, your oh artwork my God. is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yenfei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. It's because you don't have any beetles on Liyue. Not that the game has ever shown me. <laughs> Who knows? It might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Unless you elaborate and dramatize it for like godlike proportions, I don't think the people of Liyue will be interested. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, ah, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Esquire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. Uh huh. Uh, sure, let's go. This is gonna hurt. I'm rusty. Bro. You in charge of what? You still got HP after all that. Utmost might difficulty unlocked. I don't feel the need to do that. Perfect. This level of intensity is just perfect for such a contest. Ah, wonderful. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Is that what yes, we call it? Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. I think you're on crack. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh, yeah! Learning! Dear God. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. 
Next. Who is next? Uh, Tung Tung bought a cup of Terra. <laughs> Oni Kabuto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Except they're an Inazuman beetle that doesn't live in Liyue, but sure. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Right. Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh, Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I'll take your word for it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. I could do something with that, but I won't. Oh, oh. <laughs> your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. <laughs> Does he have a child versus a child? <laughs> you make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side. Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun. Hearing Paimon say young lady in that tone. Ooh. Makes her sound like she's ancient. Why are you giving me more instructions? Okay. Let's go. It's very agile. Oh dear. Okay. Bugger. Ow. What you gonna do when I get you against the wall? I have yet to master the timing to send that shit back. I like the way it just dramatically flops over. <laughs> Is it over? What fun! Oh, Paimon nearly messed that up. Uh, I come too early with oh, the, the I nearly died shield. of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? <laughs> no. So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I, I get it now. She didn't even know the rules. <laughs> uh, do you have time to play some more? No. Do your parents know where you are, Bus a Cup of Terror? Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Goba talk to Crystal Tornado. It's a bit late to mention that now. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Don't you get any special powers for being an Oni? Thing. Contestant with super OP gear. Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Great it's coming. timing, Yanfei. My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? Looking to flip some beetle, oh my. I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Oni Kabuto. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. <laughs> it's looking pretty buff these days. I'm not surprised. <laughs> if Madam Ping's been looking after it. Oh boy, he's gonna be swell. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I've ever seen. You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. You... Betcha. 
So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet. So apologies in advance for any blunders. It's not gonna tell me any new rules. Uh, impressive melee combat strength. Attacks with quakes. Mm, what does that mean? I don't have the stamina to commit. Ow. I still do not know how to send the ship back. He was small though. <laughs> you weren't wrong. Seems like there's quite a lot of beetle battles. A lot to beat a battle, sorry. Sony Kabuto is so strong! What has Madam Peng been feeding that day? <laughs> hey, don't you want to know? See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with. But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why well, well, wise words, Grandmaster? Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what One a blast. of us has to. I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. Who's number four? Oh, that's, that's a four. I can totally read. No frills, instant kill. Lawn. Oh, no, no, no. This, this makes no sense. How, how did you do that? My... My reputation is destroyed! <laughs> what the hell happened? What? It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. Oh, Lon just beat him. What the? So polite. <laughs> She's not polite with me. So, been busy losing while we were away, Bullchucker? We, we didn't go anywhere, Paimon. I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. Huh? In battle and in life, Stalemate? it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Uh, I understand what you're trying to say, but failure is failure. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Fine words. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. Yes, but if he's personally not fighting in the battle, then he's not winning against Lon. <sighs> Good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Ah! Finally, it's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. Maybe finally it's my turn. I fought against Yanfei. Piece of cake. So, I'm going head to head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp. You trying to get on my good side for the first time, huh, Lan? Holding the guard button more continuously. Yeah, we know. You showed us in the first round. Impressive long distance combat strength. Attack with various electric strikes during the agile. Okay, so I've got to watch out for its attacks. So I can't use up all my stamina. God fucking damn it. How do I hit this damn thing? That's it. Come here, we're doing small attacks. Just gonna put at you bit by bit. I'm just gonna do small little putts because I can't get to you. Uh, you're amazing. Oh god, she never tells me that. 
Nicely nice done. Call. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Ha! Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. What? Taking pot shots until it dies? Yep. When you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. Yeah, don't go for the big hits. Take the small hits, they all add up. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. And by the way, why do I keep getting subpar Onikabuto? These other Onikabuto have, like, beams of electro, or bulls of electro, or, like, earthquake abilities. My dude can ram and that's it. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting! Is there a round five? Fight Calamitous Colossus Count Crushmore. Who's that and where are they? Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> That's Quaba. <laughs> uh, and she's the companion god of cookery. <laughs> hey! Good to see everyone! How's it going? Having. Oops. Shangling Quaba! You finally made it! Well, Bullchucker's certainly having a blast. The day has finally come! Wobasan, I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. If my progress satisfies you, then please teach me. Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Which is funny because Gwabar is not a shelled organism himself. So. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters. Doesn't Guapa already have a statue in his image? Yes. Oh, interesting color. What the? Guapa-san got a brand new Oni Kabuto. That He's does pretty. not look normal. Oh, He's it big. It appears to be not a typical Oni Kabuto shell, but, still but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Onikabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. <laughs> oh, I bet that absolutely tickled her fancy. As it turned out, <laughs> a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners. The bloom pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels? Butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. But why Onikabuto? They're not Leowin. So, Master gave Koba a bloom pruner and got it to take the form of an Onikabuto so he can battle against you. It's not even a beetle. Ugh. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Uh, Shaoling's master is Madame Ping. So, Madame Ping's friend. <gasps> Aha! Of course! It took you that long to put two and two together. Zip it, don't spoil it! No machine can compare to a real live Oni Kabuto warrior. Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? I'm concerned about what extra skills it'll have. You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. Yeah. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's Because mic. it's not an Oni Kabuto. Or perhaps... It's a mechanism. It's too profound for me to fathom. Eh, it's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Yeah, I do agree with that. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer <clears throat> is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not uh, wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> I actually Crimson like that. Staff and I are like glove and fist. I, I appreciated that. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all. Oh, you're dueling, are you? Yeah. Oh, he is. Okay, what does it do? Oh, it doesn't tell me. An all-round, extremely powerful at all ranges, can attack with consecutive earthquakes, various electric attacks, enhanced resistance to interruption. Ah, shit. <sighs> Uh, I might have to do this one on easy. Oh, he's so big. I backed out!
Oh shit. Oh god, I've got to start making up some ground. I've got to start making up ground. Get this way, get this way. What the? What is this? Hello? I was blocking. battle. Whoa, Bull Checker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. Uh huh? Wobasan, you look... pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. Does this mean you're... proud of me? For my swift progress? Aw, oh, shucks! <laughs> He's just making up his entire narrative by himself. <laughs> You're too kind, Guobasan. Oh, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. It looks like Guobas all warmed up now. The Bloom Pruner is ready to operate at full power. Oh, shit. Guoba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Onikabuto out cold. <sighs> okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. It gets harder. A tenth of a percent? As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait, hold on a minute. A tenth of one percent? As in... 0.1% as in 1 1,000th? Uh, you've got to you've got to be kidding me. All that was just 1 1,000th of its top power? I wouldn't get so worked up. It's not a beetle. So you shouldn't treat it as a beetle. No, no, no. Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Oni Kabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? Which is a good point. So you shouldn't be viewing this as a beetle battle. And you, is he just chilling in the background? Um, us trying to beat another battle and win a competition. It's a training mechanism that's going to get gradually stronger. So you keep getting stronger as you fight it. I thought it would go without saying given the size. The bloom pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes. So obviously it has to be pretty strong. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you! Uh, is it? I didn't think it was that tall. It's impossible! If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. But a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless! Uh. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. <laughs> it would have been better if it was actually Ito's voice doing that. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Of course, Guobasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I gotta study mechanics. Then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe... Heck, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Oni Kabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. But then it's not a beetle battle. <gasps> An Oni Kabuto piloting a mechanical Oni Kabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? Does that even still count as a beetle battle? Well, that's what I mean. It's, it's not even a beetle battle anymore. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Oni Kabuto's strength. It's a beetle. Why did you ever think otherwise? People have tried to tell me this before. You, you know, think? Who, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. 
Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid. Wobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Oni Kabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Woba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm. I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Guobasan, Chef Sama, my savior, introduce me. Uh huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Uh, Shinobu, when'd you get back? Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets, and if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But but but. I... Give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just, uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. You've got to pay before you go, not after you go. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. Soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> And don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. You're saying all of the right things. Uh, who are you and what have you done with Boss? I just... Yes, it's great that he's finally being responsible and being logical and rational about how he's going to go about his goal. But why is his goal so pathetic? Wow, bull chucker! Those were some bold words! You better make sure you follow through. Artaki Ito is a man of his word. <laughs> Of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but... In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liyue. Where are your parents, child? Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. Where's this kid's family that they just allow strange adults to take him to a foreign nation, I might point out, and then leave him in a foreign nation? <laughs> Secondly... Now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Who's paying for you to survive, child? Who's paying for the roof over your head? Who's paying for the food you consume? <laughs> also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome. Good thinking, Grandmaster. You guys are so irresponsible. Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't worry about you. You literally took a child to a foreign nation and are leaving him here by himself. How is his grandpops not going to worry? <laughs> Man, I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an adeptus into taking you on as students. Especially if something so stupid. Kenzie and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I don't see this happening because it's a dumb goal. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't faze us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. Yeah, nah. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the bloom pruner. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> All right, I guess this is it. Bye. Traveler, Paimon, Yanfei Senpai, Miss Xiangling, Woba, 
You've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. You've got plosives, Shinobu. Wow, you got us a gift! Thanks, Shinobu. You're so thoughtful. Freebies for the win. I mean, we kind of worked for it. The time has come. Adios, compadre. See you, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama. And farewell, my savior. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La, la, la. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve. And make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet. <laughs> Why does the Crimson Staff have to be driving it? Why can't Ito drive it? This dude's probably like, bitches, why are you in my territory? Get out of here. I assume that's the end of the event. Instant ramen? Of course. Of course it's ramen. Uh, let's check this one out here, because we've, we've got to get the um, rewards from it. I like how the picture changes. Now what's this? Ultimate trial completed. Uh, I don't know what that means, but okay! I guess we're done with the event. Nice. Now, we've got primer gems. That gets us what, like one wish? Nope, gets us three. I'll take it. Yuck. Shogun, I don't think we're going to get you, dear. I mean, it's not like I'm desperate to get you because I don't really have any interest in farming your materials at this moment in time. But it would be nice to get a second Archon. It's kind of sad that I only have achieved one. I mean, I don't want Bendy anyway, but the other three, her included, could, could have been useful. Oh well. Okay, well, that is it for the event. We've done all we need to do here. We don't need to do any more. I like the, the beetle battles. I actually quite enjoy them as a, as a mini game. I'm not often a fan of mini games as we know, but I've always liked the, the beetle battles. I think, as I said, the quests around them are pretty silly, but the beetle battles themselves are fun.